Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford Salina, Kansas, your source for Ford news update and information with a video on the 2024 Ford Edge. Uh, so we are going to go over in this video all the, the equipment that's standard as well as optional on the 2024 Ford Edge SE trim. So if you're looking to order or maybe get one at a dealer or something, want to know exactly what you're getting, this is a video for you. So it's going to be a very thorough video, very long. Uh, we'll have timestamps down below so you can move around in this video and revisit any information you need to skip over information. So use those timestamps to move around this video as a resource to you. So uh, order banks are open up right now for the 2024 Ford Edge. You can put an order in. I uh, should be able to get one pretty quick. There aren't a lot of orders in the order bank for retail orders. So should be able to get one uh, at your local dealership and go in and get that taken care of. If you want to order through us, I do have a special YouTube offer uh, for free shipping. So we'll talk more about that at the end of the video and check the timestamp for that as well. It'll be in that conclusion, conclusion section uh, down there uh, if you want to check over and go to that. So we're going to start. We're going to talk about mechanical features first, uh, exterior, interior, safety features. And then we're going to move into different colors available for this year and the different stand, uh, optional equipment from there. So let's dive in, talk about mechanical features first. Um, now, for this, I do want to use Ford's website, kind of. So let's, let's go over here and show you so ford.com over here if you go to shop and go to build and price typically in most vehicles you can find that so for some reason the 24 edge is not anywhere in here we see a 24 expedition actually just happened recently edge actually was last month and it's still not in here even under even if we go down to the previous uh or the next future models like 24 rangers there and 24 mustangs down there the edge is not uh, so we're going to use the 23 uh, order guide here. And this is the last year for the Ford Edge, by the way, uh, and is going away after this year. And so maybe Ford didn't want to, to update it. I don't know. Um, they did tell us there was nothing different from last year versus this year. But I would assume the pricing is different. In fact, uh, let me uh, go ahead and jump out, um, pause this for just a second and pull up. Actually, I won't pause it. We'll just pull it up real quick, and let's look and see what that pricing guide looks like because uh, we do have that information as well. 24, order guide, uh, and edge. So let's look up that price list real quick. So the SE is starting out at 38365 So didn't go up by much. Uh, looks like just about $400 or so. So that is what they're, it's starting out. Um, and so I'll, I'll try to have this information over here to the side so when we go to different packages – and standalone options, we can kind of look and see what is different, uh, what's been added and such. So let's go through this. I want to talk about some of the mechanical features first. Uh, so we're going to click into the SE trim. And we're going to go to powertrain here. Now, we'll say for the this one here, it is standard all-wheel drive now on the edge. That was uh, last year as well. Also, the only engine available on the SC trim is the 2.0 EcoBoost engine. And so... That engine there is a, of course, a turbocharged engine, auto start stop technology, which means you come up to a stop light, stop sign, press the brake. It's going to shut the vehicle off. You got go with the brake. It's going to turn it back on. Also, it's come standard with the eight speed automatic transmission that includes the active transmission warm up as well. So that way it can help it uh, function a little bit better. Intelligent all wheel drive, we mentioned earlier, does have electronic brake force distribution as well, torque vectoring control too. And it does have hill start assist. So that's going to help you if you're on a hill uh, so that way you don't drift back. So, And we do have the electric power assist steering. So we call it the E-Pass. So it makes it electronic control makes it a little bit easier when you're going slower speeds to turn the steering wheel without having a vehicle move as much. Uh, so that's going to be uh, something else. So that's all the mechanical features here. Let's move into some of the your exterior features and Let's get us an image here that we can see a little bit better. So, again, uh, no different look than last year. So, it'll look just like this for the headlights. You will have by LED low and high beam headlights. The automatic feature on both of those, actually. Uh, so, the, the low beams will be if you have an automatic setting for your headlights, they'll come on automatic when it gets dark, shut off when it gets light. For your high beams, also, if it's dark enough outside, it's going to turn those high beams on and it's going to shut them off if someone approaches you in the city lights. So that is actually the, um, the, the auto headlights or high beams, I should say, or something, a feature you can activate and deactivate in your lighting section of your vehicle settings screen. You also have wiper activated headlights, which means if your wipers are on, the headlights will come on. And you do also have LED configurable daytime running lights as well. So you can have those to be on during the daytime. 
The grill in the front is going to be iconic silver honeycomb grill with a chrome surround around that. You can kind of see that right there. Um, so it's pretty cool on how that looks. It does have for the bumpers, the upper part of the bumper is going to be body color. That's this part here. And then this lower part is going to be that molded in black design. So really kind of helps makes it a little more durable for rock ships and such coming up there. Active grill shutters are usually located right down here in the lower part of that grill. And it'll open and close when it needs to allow for more airflow in. Um, do have laminated windshield, so it's uh, going to be two pieces of glass, plastic in between. Uh, benefit of that is that, of course, it's going to be a little bit quieter for that uh, highway noise. But then also, if something were to hit that glass, the windshield, uh, it's not going to shatter and come inside as easily because that classic's going to try to keep that uh, together there for you. So now, speaking of the wheels, we do have 18-inch sparkle silver painted aluminum wheel. The tire is an all-season tire. It's a 245-60 R18. Uh, all season tire does have individual tire pressure monitor system that monitors the tire pressure on those and lets you know if one's significantly off from the others. Uh, four wheel disc brakes as well with ABS, uh, pretty typical on most of the vehicles. Uh, for the mirrors here, you will have power glass, manual fold, and black mirror caps. So molded in black mirror caps there. You will have the standard equipment, the Bliss, the blind, blind spot information system with cross traffic alert. So if there's someone in your blind spot, it's going to put a light in the corner of that mirror unless you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. As you back up, someone's crossing your path and uses those same sensors and a series of tones that you need to stop, not back up, puts a message on the productivity screen, uh, that uh, a warning there, and, and the mirror on those mirrors using the Bliss system, it actually will tell you which side that they're on at that time. Um, so they may have to go behind you, right, and cross behind you. Uh, belt line molding is going to be black here. Let's move this over a little bit so you can kind of see that. Black bolt line, belt line molding as well as around the window. Your door handles are body colored on this. Uh, the lower cladding is black like the front. And you have intelligent access on the SC trim. So that means with a key fob in your pocket, you can just walk up, put your hands in a door handle. It's going to automatically unlock the vehicle. Also, uh, for your, uh, you do have the keyless entry as well if you want to unlock it. You get closer if you want to, you can also roll these front windows down using the remote. So that's called global open. And so you can do that. You just uh, un unlock or hit the unlock once and then press and hold it for like five seconds. And it's going to roll those windows down for you. So uh, I'll just allow on those hot days and let the air come out of, of the vehicle before you get in. Um, also, it does have security lock, passive NFS system, which means only the coded key can start the vehicle as well. Um, we do have easy fuel capless filler door. So let's, let's move this around to the other side. You can see that just push that door open. No cap to worry about leaving behind, getting your hands or anything like that. Just shut that when you're done. Privacy glass in the back windows and back glass. And that's just going to be a little bit cooler for everybody inside the vehicle. Uh, on the back, you do have body colored rear spoiler, center high mounted stoplight back there, rear defrost, rear wiper, uh, does have a washer as well. Of course, um, so you're going to have all that LED tail lights with the amber turn signal lights as well. Um, sorry, flip my page. Uh, it does have intelligent three blink turn signal, kind of like we do see. Uh, so when you when you're turning and such, it's going to you know have that the three blink turn signal. Um, and then it does have the rear view camera. Uh, includes a camera washer. It's located right under the here. They did upgrade update this uh, rear lift gate a little in the last couple of years. Um, does have the manual lift gate. So the button's under here, but you will have to manually lift it up. Do have dual exhaust under here. Uh, see if I can see that. You can see one there on that image and then the other one on this image. So dual exhaust under there. Uh, the tips won't come out through the back. You do have the back rear that's going to be molded in on those rear bumper body colored up here uh, as well, but up there. And then we do have a tire and inflator. Tighter, tire inflator and sealing kit. No spare tire as standard equipment. Does have a car, rear cargo management system. And you have some tie downs in there as well and everything inside there. So now moving inside into your features. We'll get into colors in just a second. You do have carpeted floor mats for the front and the rear. We have illuminated entry system with the courtesy lamp delay. Also have front console. Um, up here with uh, different uh, covering for that is called silky black is the color and the instrument panel let's go to this up here you're going to see the uh, anal gray uh, on these uh, different sections on the console and around your uh, vents and everything we do have silver twilight accents as well on here 
actually the across the dash is what they're calling is the instrument panel applique and that is gray whereas these are going to be the uh silver twilight so i got that mixed sorry um and then we do have the center console here uh, with an armrest you do have a storage compartment inside that console rotary dial shifter is located right up there as well your electric parking brake is right there uh powerpoint uh you have in uh, cons on the side of the console over here on the passenger side you're going to have a an outlet in fact you might be able to see it from this angle right there it is right there you can see that's a powerpoint right there it's also one in the rear cargo area too for you now for the seats it will be cloth seats front bucket seats as you can see with the console a uh, four-way manual uh, front driver's seat so it's a manual adjustment uh, forward and back and manual lumbar uh, with manual recline uh, two-way manual passenger seat so forward and back and then also manual recline so no lumbar for that uh, second row is a 60 40 split uh, fold flat seat so this in here can fold uh, right here is where it separates so you can uh, pull the lever there it'll fold flat down for you um, and uh, also for, for you as well you can recline back it too so it's reclining uh, so and then fold down armrest right here as well you can kind of see it cut out right there uh, for the front row head restraints is a manual adjustment two-way up and down and the rear are the same way as well They go up and down latch system lower anchors and tethers for children uh, for those outbound seat positions so uh, that way you can uh, Kind of securely fasten those front and rear facing car seats into those rear seats back there So for the windows we do have power windows uh, Of course uh, for you front row is one touch up and down which means you just hard press it down it's going to roll it down. You'll have to hold it, uh, pull it up till you feel the click, and then let go, and it's going to go ahead and roll those on up. Um, for, the, for the locks, you do have auto lock and auto unlock, which means when you start going after a certain speed, it's going to lock the doors for you. Also, there's uh, child safety rear locks as well, so you can, uh, inside the door jam, you can uh, adjust those so the kids can't open those from the inside in the rear seat if you have those uh, kids back there. You have power, of course, unlock and lock features too. Manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel. Uh, pull that lever underneath. It'll go up and down, forward and back. Also, you do have the steering wheel there. It's going to be have audio and cruise control and a five-way control pad there for the productivity screen. So you're going to have two of those pads, so one on the left, one on the right, to control those two screens. 4.2-inch uh, digital, uh, or not digital, but configurable LCD displays, sorry, uh, for you. Usually the one on the right will control the stuff on the screen. The one on the left will control your other features and settings and such. Uh, and then you'll have your cruise control as well on there and audio controls uh, for you. So we'll have cruise control. Um, and then also we do have push button start. So you can see that located right under the vent right there. So you don't have to get the keys out to get in or out or to start the vehicle. Uh, climate control is a dual zone climate control. So the driver and front passenger have two different temperatures. Does have second row does floor vents uh, with an, uh, for a, an adjustable rear console vents. So there are some controls on behind, behind the console too, or some vents, I should say, behind the console. Um, AM, FM, stereo, MP3, six speaker audio sound system. Um, we do have a USB type A and C right down here in the media hub area where you can, you can put phone and different things down in there. Does have um, also the Sirius XM and with 360L three month service. After that, you'll have to sign up. And by the way, I don't never say this in my videos, but Hawaii and Alaska are not able to get Sirius XM. Didn't know if you guys knew that, but I'm sure those in Hawaii and Alaska know that. But uh, we do have Sync 4A with the enhanced voice recognition system. 12 inch Sync 4A screen here uh, for you. Standard equipment on even the SE. Uh, does have 911 Assist. It does have wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. Uh, has the adaptive dash cards, conversational voice commands, wake up words so you can tell it to, to listen so you don't have to use the button, digital owner's manual, over there updates as well, all that. I actually have done a video on this when it first came out with the, the new Sync 4A on the edge. You can check out that video if you want to learn a little bit how to use that. It does have the Ford Pass Connect as well, it allows you to connect to the vehicle using the Ford Pass app. Free app you download, you can connect your vehicle, you can unlock and lock it from anywhere. Schedule remote start times, even remote start the vehicle. Uh, you can see where it's located, tire pressure, fuel in it, and everything. Pretty cool app, so you definitely want to make sure you download that. Uh, up here, you do have a day-night mirror, so it's going to have a lever underneath to flip it from day to night. So at nighttime, when those cars come behind you with those bright lights, you can adjust that. 
Now on the visors and their illuminated vanity visors for the driver and front passenger, as well as there is a sunglass holder up here in the overhead bin as well. So, all right, um, let's see what else. And then down here, Media Hub has storage and the console has storage. Glove box as well there has storage. Uh, plenty of storage around the vehicle and uh, and such. All right. And there you go. So that's all of that equipment. Now let's talk about some of the safety features now. Um, so on this one, does have advanced track with roll stability control. So the goal behind that is to keep you on your intended path. Use a series of brakes around the vehicle to help with that so you don't roll over. It does have curve control as well. For airbags, driver and front passenger has a dual stage front airbag that deploys a different size airbag. Depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle. You have a driver knee airbag as well that will deploy but, uh, down if you have that front collision. Uh, front row side seat uh, impact airbags. So if you get a side collision, it's going to deploy the airbag from the side of the seat, help protect you. The passenger does have a glove box uh, door integrated uh, knee airbag as well. So for the driver and front passenger. And then you do have the safety canopy airbag with rollover sensors. That's going to pull you down from, you know, with the rollover sensors from breaking glass and such like that. You do have pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking. So it does have pedestrian detection, forward collision warning, and dynamic brake support. So it's going to do there and let you know uh, that that's happening. Also, you do have um, with that, uh, it'll preload those brakes as well for you. So you'll brake faster. Post-collision braking. Uh, that is going to, uh, of course, uh, stop the vehicle if you forget to put it in park, if you're in a, a collision. Uh, post braking, it'll it'll or post collision, it will break the vehicle. SOS post crash alert system all as well. Honks of horns, flashes of lights if you're in an accident off the side of the road brings you uh, so somebody can come to your safety. And we do have lane keeping system uh, that uh, does have the assist, the alert, and the driver alert. So the driver alert means that if you take the hands off the steering wheel too often, it alerts you and lets you know that uh, you can. You can activate and deactivate that, actually, both of these. And then you have the alert feature It'll allow you to leave your lane, but it's going to um, vibrate the steering wheel and let you know you've left your lane. Uh, the alert will, or the, the aid system or assist will help, help you keep you in your lane. So, all right, that's all of our standard features. But let's go ahead and talk about some colors real quick. Uh, so go back to this. There we go. Oh, it's not letting me go to that. There we go. All right, so let's talk about this for a second. So we do have, for interior colors, we have the ebony, uh, you did see here. And you do have the, so on that one, you're gonna see the flooring is gonna be ebony, the seats, console, dash. And then up the top side, I think it's like a slate gray color. And when you go to the sandstone, um, so you can see the sand, that upper headliner does change a little bit darker to more of a uh, beige color. And then also your seats will change color, but you still, your floor liner and your dash will still be the same color. You will have an insert in your door that'll be sandstone as well. So there's two different color interiors for you there. So now let's look at the exterior features. And uh, I'm going to look at, since this, we are looking at last year's, I want to pull up this year's and make sure that I have all the right colors. And uh, so they are, instead of sandstone on the interior color, they all call, they are calling it, oh, it says dune. It does say dune there. Okay. So I'm, I did a couple different vehicles this week, so <laughs> pardon me for this, but Dune is the color of the interior there. And then for exterior colors, um, paint is right there. So there we go. So uh, let's see. In here we do have, um, it is showing us a gate black uh, metallic as being uh, one of the colors. So we do have that. Just going to make sure of that. Uh, we do also do have the Oxford white. Not showing it in there. It's taking a little while for those to come up. So you have Oxford White as well. And then Atlas Blue. And then we have Iconic Silver as well. And that is uh, still a color for this year. Carbonized Gray, too. Uh, they, did, they did tell us there was no changes to any of these. So um, I assume they were going to be the same. Stone Blue Metallic as well. That one is an extra $4.95. I believe that is a uh, clear coat that's put on that. That's why it costs extra. And then we do have forged green metallic as well. So most of those colors don't cost anything extra except for that stone blue. But those are the colors uh, that we have for this year. So there you go. So now let's move into uh, going over some of the different packages available. 
uh, moving down here, we do have, when we get to packages, you can use this up here at the top to get down the different packages. We have the black appearance package. It's $12.95 for that package. Click in here. We do have the 19 inch uh, high gloss uh, ebony painted uh, alloy wheel for that. So it does come with an all season tire that matches with that. So pretty cool looking wheel. Let's go ahead and add this and we'll go to a bigger view of this. Um, there you go. So let's go back out to this. So you can kind of see it in this one here. So you can kind of get, see that look there of that wheel. Also, you're going to see the uh, bumpers are going to be body colored as well as the lower part now is going to be body is going to be body colored as well. So uh, that's a, a nice addition instead of that molded in black. You'll see it does look different as well down here. Your grill is going to be a black uh, honeycomb grill now and black surround on that. So it does dress that up a little bit. Uh, painted black mirror caps, it looks like as well. Make sure uh, look at my note here. It doesn't say painted, but it does say black mirror cap. And it looks like it is a little bit different texture from that. So it should be painted black. Um, lower molding also is going to be body colored as well over here. So you're getting that look there. And as you move to the, oops, let's move to the back, you also see it as well. So it takes that molded in black, change it to the body colored on these, which is really cool. And this rear, the skid plate here uh, does say uh, skid plate is painted black. Um, so I don't know if the images here on Ford's website is different. Um, does say it look like it's painted black on the front, but the back looks silver. So I don't know on that. It does have rear parking sensors are added to this as well to go along with your rear view camera uh, too. And then black badges as well. So it, it does give you uh, blacked out badges. So it's going to, that Ford emblem will be a darker tint on it. Can't, or, can't really tell there, but it will be um, black there as well. It does say black badges. It does not say anything about the Ford emblems being black. But if I remember right from the one that we received so far this year, I believe that is the case on those. So, all right, this is not available with the dealer uh, dealer installed option of mud flaps front and rear, by the way. So keep that in mind if you're wanting to add this to your vehicle. So, and then we do have the cargo accessory package here that is available too. So that's going to give you the rear cargo mat as you're seeing in this image here. Um, does have the retractable cargo area cover. That's this here. It's going to kind of retract that so people can't see through there. In rear bumper protector, you can't really see it in this image, but they'll put a, a bumper protector on the bumper as well so you don't scratch it up too. So that is a package you can add to this as well. So a couple of different packages there. Now let's get to standalone options, and I will have to – I am going to make sure that we cover everything uh, by just checking everything off here for us Um on this as we go through these. So uh, we're going to skip over and talk about factory installed options first and then accessories and dealer installed options. So accessories and factory installed are, are both done at the deal at the factory. Uh, but accessories are things you can get later. If you want to try to speed up your build, shouldn't probably be a problem on the edge, but anyway, so we will skip over this roadside assistance kit because uh, that is a dealer installed option, but the roof rack side rails here, you can kind of see an image there. You'll notice there it doesn't come with any kind of side rails. They'll be the molded in black for this. If you want that, it's optional equipment. Uh, that says 165. Let's look at our pricing over here. And I didn't go over the pricing on those packages. Um, the black appearance package is still 12.95, and your uh, cargo. Where is that one at? Your cargo accessory packages is two ninety now instead of two fifty that we talked about earlier, and then on these side rails, the black they're one sixty five still. So uh, that is correct on that. So I might need to make this a little bigger so I can see it. Ooh, there we go. Um, all right, and then moving on down, we do have the Yakima roof rack crossbars, um, and I believe those are a dealer installed option. Um, yeah, it looks like those are deal installed options. So we'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, we do have the mini spare. So we talked about earlier, you do not get a spare tire, uh, on your vehicle. So mini spare will come with it instead, if you'd like that. And, um, just double checking prices on this. Um, mm, I don't see that in here. It's showing a hundred dollars last year. It should be probably pretty close to that. Hmm. It's not showing in here, so I'm not sure. It's not showing it on this order guide, but should be right around $100 for that if you want the mini spare. Um, 
and uh, does, of course, replace the tire inflator and sealant kits if you want to go that route. Front license plate bracket, and it won't be listed in here, is something if you want to, uh, if you live in a state that requires a front license plate, it's no, it's going to be standard equipment. But in states like Kansas where it's not required, it'll be a uh, standalone option. You want to make sure you have it put on there. It's a no charge option, but the debt with the dealer installs up free of charge to you. Um, engine block heater. If you live in a cold weather state, it's going to stay outside. Uh, you might want to add this to it. It was ninety dollars last year. Um, should have done this before. Ninety dollars this year as well. I'm still not seeing that spare tire there, but we'll see if we find it. Um, and then uh, let's see what else. That's all your factory installed options. There is an optional wheel um, right up here. So we did see that this is the, we're going to actually and it'll ask us to, to uh, kick off that black appearance package, which is okay. So that is the standard wheel, 18 inch sparkle silver painted aluminum wheel. And then if you want as an optional wheel, you can go with this split spoke sparkle silver painted aluminum wheel. So different look. It was uh, $5.95 last year. Uh, let's see if I can find it quickly enough. Actually, I think it's up here with the wheels. Here we go. 18 inch split spoke is $5.95 this year as well. So uh, that is the same price this year. So that's all your factory installed options. Um, and then there are some accessories uh, that we can look at down here under uh, most of it's on the inside. The cargo net. There it is, $50. So they would actually put that in your vehicle before it ships out. So instead of sending that to the dealership, they ship it out. $50 here. Uh, the cargo net is $50 this year as well. Uh, the floor liners, there's a couple different options. One without the floor mats that are standard equipment. It's 160 if you want to go that route. So you're going to get those floor mats. Uh, that, I believe, is the same. It hasn't been changed on any of the other models. Um, yes, 160 and 200 if you want the floor liners and your st your standard carpeted mats as well. So you'll get it'll be a little bit extra for that. So there you go. Um, so those are going to be put in your vehicle before it ships out from the factory. Now the rest of these are dealer installed options that will be sent to the dealership, and the dealership would install them or put them in the vehicle. Most of these I would recommend you think about getting it afterwards and just doing and putting them in your vehicle yourself. So um, let's go through some of these. In fact, uh, let's go up to the uh, option, the exterior features first. The roadside assistance kit, $70. So basically what the dealership's going to do is going to put everything that you see in there inside that bag and put it in your vehicle. So you can also get it from Ford Accessories um, for the same price. I believe it is still $70 for that. Um, move down here. Here it is. Uh, the roadside assistance kit is $70 still this year. And then you also do have that Yakima refract crossbars. So basically you would have to, you'd have to get the side rails first. And then the Yakima, the side rails, it's not showing an image. They're silver painted, but those are crossbars that will come across between those two side rails and allow you to put different roof racks and stuff on those. So that is a Yakima one. It is uh, showing $830 there. So uh, that's a pretty penny for that. Um, let's see here. It is showing 830 this year as well. So no price increase on that. So um, wheel locking lug nuts, I um, believe that has gone up. So wheel locking lug nuts are also a dealer installed option. Basically, the dealership would, in, would switch out one of, the, one of the lug nuts on each of the wheels for a locking one so that people can't take those wheels. And those locking lug nuts are $80 this year. thought they went up. Engine block heater, we talked about the mud flaps. Front and rear, so uh, 178 last year. They are 184 this year, um, and so again, you can add those. Those will go on the back. Um, doesn't show an image there, but basically help protect, especially if you live on a dirt road or something. That can help from mud and and rocks and stuff getting kicked up on the side of your vehicle. So you get that as well. It's not showing the first aid kit. Oh wait, it's probably on the inside. So let's keep on going down. First aid kit here is fifty dollars. Here it is still fifty dollars this year. Um, and that it comes with all those things put in this nice little carry case. Again, something you can get the Ford accessories. So, um, and then the moving down cargo net we talked about cargo organizer. There's a couple different options, a large and a small one. Um, and those have gone up on the expedition video. I've, I've talked about it. So the standard one is $96 and the large one is 108. So they've gone up just a little bit for each of those. Uh, the large one actually comes with more sections, and those are foldable, which are really nice. But again, both of those you can get through Ford Accessories and have it ready to go when your vehicle gets here. So 
Uh, cooler bag, also something to get through Ford accessories. I wouldn't order it with your vehicle. That has gone up in price as well. The cooler bag is now $41, it looks like there. Uh, I think it's 45 on some vehicles, so that's a little cheaper. So um, anyway, we'll just see how that uh, adapts and changes. And then center console vault with a coded key. So it does have an image of this one. Uh, Ford branded there. So if you want to be able to lock things in there, valuable. Sometimes people want to put like a gun or something that they might carry, and they don't want people to get into it. Um, so so on $400 here, uh, let's see, that is still $400 um, this year as well. So you have that as, uh, on there too. And I think that is everything that has covered all of the equipment, uh, all of those dealer installed options. So I do recommend on those dealer installed options um, that you, you know, that is something you probably should try to get afterwards if possible. Uh, console vault, the dealer should put install it for you. That's kind of a nice convenience feature to have them do it for you. Um, the um, Some of the others uh, you can put on yourself, maybe the Yakima, uh, but those you should build and install yourself as well. But when you do it from the dealership, that price there, you don't have to pay for shipping. So that is a benefit of doing deal installed. Um, most of those shouldn't hold up your bills from getting scheduled and getting produced uh, on the edge. Some vehicles that will, but on the edge, you should be good on most of those. So anyway, so that's all of the uh, options here. So hopefully you guys did find some good value on this. Don't forget the 2024 Ford Edge order banks are open right now. You can place your order with your local dealer. Um, going in there, I do want to give you a couple of suggestions on ordering your vehicle that you ask your dealer ahead of time. Ford does price protect your vehicle from the price that was when you ordered your vehicle. So if you order today and the price ends up going up over time, um, then um, Ford will, will reimburse the dealership back that difference. So you wanna make sure your dealership knows about price protection and make sure that they plan to honor that price when it comes in and they know a little bit about that. So get that in writing as well. Also, you can lock in incentives too. So basically Ford sees when you order the vehicle and when it comes in, you have the option to pick the incentives from what it is when it comes in or when you ordered it. If the ones if they were available when you ordered, then you can take benefit of those interest, different interest rates and rebates from that time. So that is also something to make sure they know a little bit about, too. And then lastly, you want to find out what they're going to add to the price. What do they plan to price you? Are they going to are they going to sell it to you at MSRP? Are they going to plan to add anything to it? Also get that stuff in writing, too, for you uh, to place your order. You do have to uh, sign a buyer's order. And most of those prices should be on there for you. Make sure that not only that you sign that for them, but that you get them to sign it for you so that you can tie that to them when your vehicle comes in. So anyway, a couple of different suggestions for you when placing an order with your local dealer. We are taking orders. If you want to order through us, we have a special, we have a YouTube special. It is uh, up to $1,000 of shipping costs or travel expenses if you finance the vehicle with us. So if you want to get it from us, you can do that. We uh, let you know ahead of time. We know about price protection and incentive lock. We also uh, are selling our vehicles at MSRP, and we have a $4.95 dealer fee, and that we add nothing else to our vehicles. So anything you want, aftermarket, window tent, you have protective film or a ceramic coating, you can get that if you would like to, but it's not going to be put on any vehicles at Law MacArthur without your permission uh, and not be charged anything. It's not a requirement for getting a vehicle here at Law MacArthur. So if you want to get an order from us, we can take your order. Again, we'll pay for the first, uh, if you want to fly in and drive the vehicle home, then you will pay for flight expenses and such, uh, gas, that kind of thing, hotel for your trip back. And, and then, or if you want it shipped to you, uh, from us to you, then it, we can pay up to $1,000 of those costs uh, towards the purchase of your vehicle or, or the cost of that if you finance a vehicle with us at standard rate. So anyway, little offer that we provide there for those that would like to order through us. So uh, hopefully you guys did find this uh, valuable information. If you did, smash that like button. I really appreciate it. You might check out our other uh, videos. We're going to be going through all the edges here, and we've done this for the Expedition recently, the Ranger, and the Mustang. So we do this on all models and keep you updated on things going on. We do a live stream as well, uh, so check that out. Hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you can be notified next to another video upload to the channel. And until the next video, don't forget to stay positive, be kind to one another, be kind to yourself, and we'll see you on that next video.